Hello, my lovely peeps. Welcome or welcome back to Day to Day with Alicia K. I'm Alicia K. And today I thought that we I would do a like a nice chill deep conditioning Sunday with you guys. I already wash and conditioned my hair. This is the deep conditioner that I'm going to use today. Um, it's got henna in it, and I've been trying to stick with the Ayurvedic vibe. I used this oil for my pre-poo. Smells delicious, like desserts. Um, and my hair feels nice and soft, but it is drying. So let me hurry up and go ahead and put this deep conditioner on. Okay, sorry about that, about cut off. So I did end up getting a new spray bottle from Natural. It's a little bit bigger than what I'm used to. And I'm gonna get it just a little bit more wet. So Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. it's been forever since I've had a working spray bottle, clearly, because I was way too impressed with that. I'm gonna put that part with that. This stuff is pretty amazing. Look how thick it is. Got it from my mom. <laughs> Not trying to be funny. She actually bought like a set of it. So she got two deep conditioners and um, a shampoo. And didn't work for her hair. But that's probably because she is a low porosity. And this is definitely, I would say, a high porosity line um since it is strengthening you know low porosity they usually need more moisture while high porosity needs more protein so if you ever need you know for future reference <laughs> definitely want to keep that in mind a lot of people have complained that this stuff is terrible that it dries their hair out or um makes their hair feel like straw. But if, like I said, if they are low porosity, that's probably why. Cause they don't need this stuff. Not like we need it. <laughs> but I, I have not used, I hadn't really used uh, Myel, Miel, I haven't really used Myel, um, any of their products before. There was one time when I got like a little miniature, like, twisting souffle for when I was in Denver and I didn't prepare well enough so I just bought like a little travel size at Target and I don't know I wasn't really impressed by it when I used it but again maybe I just could have used it for something else or could have used it better but I wasn't really impressed with it so I didn't really seek out any more of their products but when I my mom decided to give me this. I decided to try them again. I'm like, sure, you know what, they're free. Hell yeah, let's do it. It's so funny because I had, um, she didn't get the two, she didn't get two deep conditioners. I had bought one deep conditioner from Sally's and it was only $9.99. I was like, what, <laughs> excuse me, a $10 deep conditioner, what? <laughs> so I decided to buy it and try it and I had actually used it before she decided to give it to me. So I already knew that I liked the deep conditioner, but I hadn't tried the shampoo yet. So I was like, you know what? Opportunity. I uh, ended up giving the other deep conditioner to my sister since I already had one. I'm like, I don't need to. I mean, it's nice to have a bunch of these, but she needed deep conditioner and I was willing to share the love. She's also high porosity. If you guys need me to go over like what that means or how you can tell in detail, then just let me know and I will do a video just talking about porosity for you guys. This stuff just always makes my hair feel amazing. I always worry about this being too strengthening, especially for if I've used like a protein-based shampoo, but it is actually very very moisturizing too so if you're scared of that if you're like oh no henna because henna can be pretty pretty potent but 
it's low enough on the list where it's not overpowering so and you guys see my hair just absolutely loves this stuff surprisingly then once i put some heat on it like i said i just wasn't expecting my hair to actually go for this <laughs> but i am glad that it works out because i got it for super cheap and then well, I did get a free one, but like I said, I gave it away. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to do the other side and then I'll come back. All right, guys, I'm back and I'm all done. I got all of the conditioner in and everywhere else. going to put a cap on. going to leave this on for like 20 to 30 minutes and I wash it off. So while I have you guys, I thought I would also show you my Sunday prep. Um, I don't do this all the time, but when I do um, make my own like hair mask and stuff, I'll usually use like a Sunday, either the beginning of the week or the end of the week, to uh, so that it'll last throughout the week, so I don't have to do it all week. <laughs> but right now, I don't know if anyone follows Farida Sharma, um, aka Curly Proverbs. Right now, there is a hair growth challenge going on right now and it is called like thigh length something I'll link the video but um, I am working on sorry about that I am right now got all my powders here some from henna souk and then some from curly proverbs herself and I'm going to be making my own hair mask and pre poo I also wanted to I I'm actually gonna blow my hair out, so I'm probably not gonna be using these, but I also wanted to include the hair tea from Inasuk that I would normally use. Um, I don't mind like taking my own powders and making my own, but it's nice to kind of have like the actual tea bags already here being made. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd have you guys also on this trip of making some oils. Or not oils, but making some hair masks. But yeah, so I thought I'd take you guys on this journey as well. Um, let you get an inside look on how I make my pre-poos and my DIY hair masks. So let's get started. All right, we are going to start with the pre-poo. So my DIY pre-poo mask is usually aloe vera and amla. And I don't um, really have measurements, so... I just pour the powder and water in until it makes like a pancake batter consistency. And um, there's something in my bowl. So yeah, I just pour in some aloe. Again, I don't do measurements. It's just, it really depends on the length of your hair too as well. So, and I don't use anything metal because with Ayurvedic herbs, the metal can cause them to process. Normally I also use distilled water, but I haven't been able to find any. So I'm just gonna use some from my sink here. Just kind of gonna add until I can get it somewhat wet. And this stuff is like so hard get wet guys like do you see how it's just bubbling and almost just not hitting any of the powder <laughs> so you kind of really have to stir it in order for it to even there we go we're getting somewhere but yeah just stir this it's all done and gradually add the water so just can take you can add water but you can't take any away so don't go too crazy with the with the water all right we're getting less and less clumpy here still got a little bit of lumps but it's looking more like pancake batter as we go on here so after I've got the consistency that I want, and most of the time people like it to be like 
a little bit more runnier than, than I have it here. But I think this is perfect consistency for me because it's less messy. It's less likely to drip off of my hair. Um, so after I've gotten it to, after you get to the consistency that you want, I take my two favorite essential oils for hair, peppermint and rosemary, and I put 10 drops of each in there. And then give it a good stir. Mm, smelling good. Peppermint. Maybe. If it'll work. I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna need some more of that pretty soon. But yeah, this just adds a nice scent to the pre poo, but also the peppermint and the rosemary will help stimulate your hair follicles and encourage more hair growth. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but I'm gonna tell you stirring these powders up is kind of a nightmare. <laughs> if you have a hand mixer, or just a mixer in general and you wanted to make it easier definitely but just be prepared to spend at least 20 minutes stirring this stuff up but yeah nice and minty and rosemary in this one i also don't mind being a little bit chunkier because this is before i wash if it was the hair mask after washing I would probably be a little bit more worried about getting powder stuck in my hair but since this is before the washing process it's not too bad so yeah that's my pre-poo I'm gonna pop the lid on it and then also I got my little handwritten <laughs> labels here so I don't mix them up obviously this is in a different bowl than the others but thought that that would help too <laughs> I'm gonna show you my hair mask ones next all right, so I'm done with my pre-poo. This should be a good two uses, to be honest. I got my label on it. Now I'm gonna make an actual hair mask and I'm gonna use Curly Proverbs Amla and Brie Garage mask. And um, I'm not gonna make, I'm, I'm gonna make all of these masks, like the full mask. They're not gonna be glosses. I'm not gonna add like, um, like a leave-in like a conditioner or anything to them. I'm just gonna have them be it straight away and So again, I don't do measurements Honestly, I'm gonna use this whole bag I feel like <laughs> Trying to hold my breath you want to be careful not to inhale these powders. It can be very very irritating to the eyes, the lungs, and the throat. If you feel, you know, um, that worried about it, you could just wear a mask or something. But yeah, I'm gonna add some water. This is actually kind of sweet smelling. It smells very sweet. I might put a different essential oil in this one. This one kind of has like a nice, <laughs> see how chunky it's getting. But yeah, just gradually, and especially since I don't have any more powder for this particular one, I don't want to make it too runny, too watery, because I can't add any more powder to thicken it up. So. That's kind of the only thing about these uh, kind of powders. I just feel like I can't stretch them as much as I want to. Like one bag is a single use for me. Um, and my my hair goes to about about here, just just below the top of the boob area. So yeah, just gonna give this a nice stir.
All right, I'm getting it somewhat, you know, not lumpy. So I decided to go with my orange spice essential oil. This smells so amazing, so orangey and sweet. I got it around the fall time um, at Whole Foods. Kind of one of my favorite essential oils, honestly. Orange is like my favorite, and orange is my favorite color as well as my favorite scent. And the fact that they added that spice in there, oof, it's amazing. But yeah. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a nice one. This is my Amla and Bringarage mask. Slowly but surely <laughs> getting those lumps out. I'm telling you forever, I've been here forever doing this. Just kind of open these together. And some powders are a little bit, um, what, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, viscous. Um, like they, they kind of got a lot of mucilage, mu like mucusy like. I think that's what I'm looking for. Don't mind me. Um, and they get kind of just they're a little bit harder to get rid of as far as the lumps. If you have any tips, please let me know. But yeah, I'm gonna keep stirring this and then I'll continue. Okay, y'all, I was going to do three hair masks, but I'm tired. I still got to do my hair. <laughs> so, um, the if I do a batch of pre-poo, which are usually like two uses, and then I do three hair masks, that should last me three months. I only do those hair masks once a month because they are quite potent. Um, I will show you my Sukesh mask, I think, when... 
when it's time. Again, um, I'm going to post the challenge. Uh, I'm going to post the video. I'm going to post her channel, um, Curly Proverbs channel, down in the description box. So if you guys want to join, if you guys want more information, her channel in general will let you know more about Aerovita too. Um, I'm not that, I'm not an expert at it. I just know that it is like an, it's an ancient Indian medical system, basically. Um, and the writings, it uses natural and holistic ingredients, which would be like the herbs and spices um, to help your physical and mental um, health state. And also the herbs are good for hair and skin as well. Um, if you want, you can do your own research. If you want me to go more in depth, just let me know. I can do the research. Um, and yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this chill deep conditioner Sunday. I actually need to blow my hair out. So I'm going to get right on that and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Thank you.